The nymphs of the periodical cicada have been biding their time. Now they march like zombies towards the nearest tree and start to climb. At first, there are merely thousands, but soon more than a billion swarm all over the forest. The biggest insect emergence on the planet is underway. They invade the upper branches where they climb out of their external skeletons and assume their adult winged form. At first, they're white and soft, but they have until dawn to complete their transformation. After an absence of 17 years, the forest is now overrun by cicadas. A Powellophanta snail. It can grow to the size of a man's fist. So rare, they can only be filmed in captivity, where their extraordinary behavior is revealed. It's still a mystery as to exactly how they track down their food. But one thing is for sure. This snail has unusual tastes and revolting table manners. Its mouth envelops and suffocates the earthworm. It sucked down like spaghetti. For anything bigger, it's got 6,000 teeth ready to shred the next meal. In this supersaturated environment, this specialized snail is the ultimate predator. Mantids will eat anything that moves, including other mantids.
time to leave. This tiny insect is now open to attack from predators lurking in the undergrowth. Whether an individual mantis survives or not is partly a matter of chance. Whether it's spotted by a predator Whether it turns right or left. So far, its luck has held. But this hungry jumping spider is still in pursuit. A mantis is born with exceptional eyesight but the spider's is even better. Although this young mantis can't yet fly, its long forelegs, evolved to catch prey, give it reach. seems to be no escape. But this mantis has a surprising line in self-defense. Kung Fu, praying mantis style. Of course, it's all bluff, trying to look bigger and confuse its enemy. But it's got away with it. The colony can search the entire jungle and flush out its wildlife. Each day, it sends out a silent probe into the forest in quest of food. It doesn't use scouts like other ants. Instead, a vast search party pushes into virgin territory. seeking out the signs of anything alive. They spread out along a 10-metre front, sweeping across the forest floor. To find prey, the ants must first touch it. The irony is that this, the most successful hide-and-seek player in the forest, is almost completely blind. It distinguishes the living only by their movement. As long as an animal remains still, it is safe. But the slightest twitch will give it away. Within seconds, the prey is pinned down. Within minutes, it's torn apart at its joints. The more the prey struggles, the more the ants engage.
right across the raid front, prey of all sizes are driven from their hiding places. Even wasps must abandon their homes when the ants arrive. Everything alive in the path of the raiders, overwhelmed by sheer numbers. Frozen solid, a mountain stone wetter. It has the most extraordinary survival technique of all. The ability to come back from the dead. Only in a specialized filming chamber can we capture its extraordinary talent. The wetter has developed special proteins which prevent ice crystals from forming inside its cells. A remarkable trick for a creature whose ancestors once lived in prehistoric warm wet forests. But when New Zealand's mountains grew up beneath them around five million years ago, they were forced to come up with this incredible ability to survive near lethal temperatures. Defrosting uses up a lot of energy. So mountain snowberries are a welcome sight. The wetter needs to stock up while it can. The next Antarctic storm could be the return of winter. It can tolerate over 80% of its body freezing solid and can do so day in and day out for weeks at a time. Nowhere else in New Zealand does life go to such extremes to survive. 